A young Buffalo boy who lost both legs while trying to cross train tracks last spring is now back in the classroom after a long road to recovery. News 4's Rachel Kingston has the story you'll see only on 4. Six months after losing both of his legs in a train accident, 10 year old Julian Brown is taking a huge step forward. This was his first day back at school. He's very ready. He's been looking forward to this. He misses his friends a lot. And I think he misses just the whole atmosphere of school. So he's anticipated this for quite some time. Houghton Academy has been anticipating it too. The school has been providing Julian with home instruction and, now that he's back, wheelchair access and a full time personal aid. School psychologists have talked to his classmates about what to expect. We explained, you know, things are going to be different. He's going to be in a wheelchair. Um, he's also been fitted for prosthetic legs. Um, so hopefully, once, you know, those come in, he'll be using those. Um, but just to be prepared that, it, you know, things that they can ask him, things that they can say to show support. Julian has had constant support from his family, especially his older brother, a seventh grader at Houghton. Yeah, he was like, I'm going to be shy when I go back to school. And I'm like, well, there's there to be shy about. You just go to school, see your friends and stuff. Just nothing. Just willing yourself in. Julian was feeling a little shy today and didn't want to go on camera himself, but his classmates are all very excited that he's finally back in school. I'm just happy to be back to school and we get to see, we get to see him in school and at home and he's back he's back he's back and he's he's with his class and having fun and seeing his friends. But what did you miss most about having him here? I miss his funniness because he usually sometimes makes me laugh. You can tell just by watching, students and staff at Houghton Academy feel a genuine sense of excitement and joy that Julian is back with them again. Overall, he's just a great kid, and I'm glad to see him coming back to school today. We just want to make Julian comfortable and, and just feel secure here at school. Rachel Kingston, News 4.